reach too far because it's been a long season. There it goes right there. It's been a long season, so I just tried my hardest, and, I, and it was, I was in lane one, so I had to beat the odds, and that's exactly what I did because I had lane one in Nationals, so I had to come back from that disappointment and uh, go hard here. What was the difference between NCAAs where you got eighth and today where you got fifth? Um, it's just my mindset. I mean, going into the finals with lane one and NCAAs, I already had the, the, um, the feet mindset that I wasn't going to do well. And that's how I was here. But here, I know I could do better. I had great weather, so I ran against great, great competition. So I had to just run with it. Do you think shooting for top six may help you today? Some of the pressure was off. Yeah, I mean, it'll give you a secondary goal. Yeah, it was. I mean, all I want to do is try to make the relay pull. But uh, coach told me if I can go faster, go faster. And that's exactly what I did. I don't want to make your coach mad, but uh, you consider turning pro now you've made the world team? Uh, it's not yet, no. I still got a lot of work to do, and I want to take my time and focus on school. You're only 19. Yeah. Surprised to run so fast, or uh, you knew you had it in it? I got a great coach, so that's what it is. All of the game plan perfect. Man, the biggest surprise of my coach. <laughs> not that you made the team, but the way you did it, I won more. Yes, sir. Two dollars a week, and second job. Thanks, coach. You brought your passport. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, Coach Hart, you were surprised? Yes. Not surprised that, that he ran well. Uh -huh. We've been waiting for him to run 44 for a pretty good while. He's, he's been threatening it. The people that he's beaten, they run 44. And we, we just knew it was a matter of time when he hit, hit his pace right. And uh, we always trying to do some things he's just not going to do yet. Go out a little bit quick at the 200. It looked like he was totally out of it. But on my watch, it was perfect. He was 21.5. That's what we wanted uh, because I knew for him the race could start there. He's a big uh, uh, kicker. He brings it home. He's got a big heart. And uh, when he started moving, he, I mean, that was our last instructions. Pick off the stragglers. We want to get that top six to make the relay pull. And out of lane one, that's a pretty good chore. So I said, well, you just got to be patient and, and hope some people come back. Uh, I know they came back, but he ran great. So it was a good combination. How, how does he rank up against some of the other greats you've had sort of come through the program? Well, that performance right there ranks up with, with easily one of the top performances I've ever had a corner rider do under the circumstances. I mean, when you PR about not, not almost a second, about three-fourths of a second out of lane one to make the team, that's pretty remarkable. London. Unbelievable. London, London going to London. Well, what does it mean yeah. to hear you know, Coach say that after it's such a tradition and that's one of the you know, all-time moments he's seen? Well, it feels great. He's always told me I can do it. And uh, some races that I just didn't quite put everything together, and this is one of those days where I finally listened and got everything together, and the outcome was great. I, mean, I did what he told me to do, and it came out perfect. You didn't see this Did you see this coming? Uh, no, I didn't. I mean, I don't like to think about the race too much. Coach always tells me to just, uh, just relax and have fun. I just want to know how it's done. Uh, I did that times 10 times, so uh, the outcome of the show is on the scoreboard. Like he was saying, it was meant to be letting go to London, London. Yes, sir. Was <laughs> it? Yes, sir. Yes, thank you. Yes, sir.